Have you ever wondered how come if this is a 3D model, we are not seeing the roof or the um, foundation plans and all the other details? How is it being controlled by Revit? Well, it turns out if you do not select anything and you're in the floor plan type, there's a view range under the extents category. You can edit the view range. This view range controls where you are cutting the model. In this case, it's cutting at the height of 1200. So that's enough height to see the opening of the door and also see the windows. Likewise, you have here the bottom and normally it is associated to the level you are at. So we're in the first floor level and there's a zero offset and then there's a top limit or you can actually say unlimited if you want to but the top limit allows you to set where areas such as overhead cabinets can be seen and it's actually best to look at it here if you click on the show button so this here is the cut line or cut plane and that's the top range and within this area any uh, overhead cabinets can be made visible sometimes or using uh, dash lines. Now there's also a depth if you are, let's say, at the ground floor, you may be able to show in hidden line the foundation of the building. So those are options that you can use to show what you want to view in a uh, level. So that's the view range. Now this view range should always have the top range uh, the highest number you cannot use a cut plane that's higher than the top uh, plane and likewise the bottom should always be lower than the uh, cut plane the top and cut plane levels can be the same height and the bottom and the view depth can also be of the same height but this should always be the lowest level and this should always be the highest level. So let's say we change this to a different value to let's say 2300 equal to the top level. So notice here, right, right now we're not seeing the uh, wall for the header, but if we are now at the 2300 and we click apply, and click OK. Now we're cutting above the door. So we're able to see the door symbol, but we're not anymore able to see the opening. So that's how you are controlling the view range. And uh, sometimes you have clear stories uh, or window above that you, do, you would like to show. And you're able to do that by uh, changing the view range but unfortunately if you do that something like this can happen so how do you control that so let's bring this back to 1200 apply okay so instead of just changing the view range which is normally something you would not want to change you can apply under the view tab a plan region and this is helpful so that you can so save a project every time you're prompted so if you have let's say a window above this that's different and you'd like to show that you can create a plan region and you can create the plan region let's say here 
I don't have a window there. But by doing or creating a plan region, you're able to let's zoom in. You're able to create a region such as this one, if you select that, which has its own view range. So if you have something to show here that is higher than the 1200, you may do so. So let's say, let's change this to 2300. Click apply. And you're able to see whatever is at that level. So at that level, for this particular area, there you have a wall. Okay? And because you only did it for this area, let's click OK. This will not be affected. Now, the only rule here is that for a plan region, okay, they cannot intersect each other. So if I create a plan region again, let's say here, Revit will not allow it. Okay, the boundaries of the highlighted plan regions overlap. So let's cancel that. And instead, you can, of course, make this smaller so that they don't intersect each other. And Revit will accept that. So it doesn't have to be uh, too wide, right? It can be narrow. And then now you can change what you are viewing here. So again, you can go to the view range. Of course, we do have the same uh, curtain wall, I think, at 2300. Apply. So you'll see the same thing. Now, what if you place here 2400? Again, that is not allowed, as we said earlier. You'll get a warning that top clip plane is set below the cut plane. So you cannot do that. So you have to at least change this to 20, 2400 equal to or greater than the cut plane. Or select the unlimited. There are also constraints that you can select or choose from. But normally, as long as you know where your bottom level is, you can determine the height based on your elevation for your cut plane and the top plane.